Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video. I apologize, I don't know why I decided to wash clothes before I started filming a video, but here we are. So right now I'm getting ready to go on a date. So I decided to do, make this like into a chit chat, get ready with me slash life update. And this video is brought to you by Abeg Lashes. They are a um, Amazon company and you can get lashes. Um, and I think they have other products too, but they wanted me to show you guys these lashes. Now you guys know I do have lash extensions, but sometimes, you know, things happen, they fall out and they're not as full as I would like them to be. So tonight for the date, I'm going to apply these lashes on top of my, um, what are these called? Eyelash extensions. <laughs> and yeah, and I'm just gonna give you guys an update on my life, what's been going on, how chapter 28 is treating me. So yeah, if you wanna see my life update, then stay tuned. And I'm catching this, baby. Okay, so first, let's talk about how does it feel to be 28? Let's talk about my birthday. So as you guys saw, if you haven't seen, um, I celebrated my birthday for literally like a whole week, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, my birthday was June 11th, I turned 28. And um, on my actual birthday, I had a dinner with my family and friends, which was lovely. And then I went to Miami. Miami was a vibe. Like me and uh, India had so much fun. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. I'm not gonna be mentioning products that I use in this get ready with me. Number one, cause they're the same products. Number two, cause they ain't sponsoring this video. So anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, so we had a lot of fun and honestly like i was so ready to get out or not get out but get back home if i learned anything from my amy trip that it was very very expensive you guys like just make sure you go out there you got money on deck um but other than that it was fine the food was fine just everything was just fine um Literally, I really didn't have any complaints besides everything just being super expensive. But when you go on vacation, that's kind of, the, I guess, the point. Or that's just something that happens. But, you know, you live in Texas where everything is just cheap in Texas. You just kind of get used to a certain, you know, a certain um, lifestyle. I look crazy. You get used to a certain lifestyle. And, uh, yeah, Miami was just... More expensive than I thought. And when I say expensive, I mean, like for instance, down here in Texas, a shot might be like eight or nine dollars. In Miami, that shot was 20, I kid you not. Um, but like I said, if you wanna know more about Miami and um, like all the stuff I went through when I was there, then definitely go and watch my Miami vlog. Next, um, so 28, I've been 28 for like two weeks now, and things have actually, I feel different. I don't know if it's because of the retrograde, if you believe in that. I don't know really what it was, but things have definitely been different um, in a good way though. So you guys know I've been really, I do battle with depression. And honestly, for the last year, almost year, or I guess a couple of, well yeah, it's been about a year. For the last year, I've been very, very depressed and um, a lot of it just stems from not being where I want to be in life, um, my last relationship, and um, just not having support. Um, I was feeling uh, really, really alone. All my friends you know, started having kids last year. The pandemic didn't really help at all. Um, I wasn't able to see my family and friends as much as I wanted to because I stayed in a different town. Like it was just a whole lot, a whole lot of going on in 2020 and 2021. But now it's literally like since I turned 28, it's like everything did like a switch. And your girl is dating again. 
and um which i've kind of been no i ain't gonna lie i've literally had my breakup was 10 months ago and i've literally had a total of three dates no two dates and today would be the third date um I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not getting my hopes up, but every time I get my hopes up and I come on here and I tell y'all, like, me and the dude don't work out. So that's all I'm going to mention about that, <laughs> about the date, just because I want this to, you know, work out. Because I think I deserve love and um, my parents want grandkids. So it's time for me to, you know, get my act together. But at the same time, I'm really not in a rush to have kids. Um, y'all, pregnancy scares me. Like, it literally terrifies me like all the complications women go through and not even just women but like black women and um how men just up and leave or cheat on their pregnant wives and honestly i don't have the best the best uh taste in men so <laughs> i'm working on it i'm doing better like the one i'm going out with today we've already had to talk about kids so we're on the same page with that but yeah i'm just it's just not my priority right now but it's kind of hard not to feel left out because all my friends got kids but that brings me to my next point that then makes me the fine rich auntie so number one am i rich no but i feel like if i speak it into existence it'll happen so um i really started like i mean i've kind of been saying that i'm the five the fine rich auntie but um i decided to make it like my brand once i started my podcast so if you guys didn't know i now have a podcast with my best friend lauren it's called the laney mind podcast um i'll have it in the description box below and um me and lauren have been friends literally like my whole life or our whole lives and we had like a little girl group in high school where like we used to like sing and dance and then of course we cheered together and with our other best friend who passed away our senior year so we decided 10 years later to re-up the group but instead of doing like a singing group we just made it into a podcast and i'm like you know i give my i guess my point of view or my opinion from a rich auntie <laughs> point of view and she's a mom so she gives her point of view from a mom's point of view so yeah um we have when y'all see this video we would have had at least two or three episodes up already but like i said go subscribe to our channel we are on all streaming sites um like for podcasts so like spotify apple music all of that google play whatever the other sites are we're on that as well or of course anchor um and yeah definitely check us out i put some of the episodes on my channel just because i have a bigger following and from what um y'all have been like saying in the comments like it's been pretty good feedback but definitely go run our numbers up subscribe to us follow us on instagram and all of that jazz so yeah so back to the whole fine rich auntie thing so because it's like now my brand um i decided to branch off and i'm really just i don't like to prematurely tell you guys things but at the same time i feel like if i tell you guys it then i'll do it and y'all can hold me accountable but i'm gonna come out with fine rich auntie merch so i've always wanted to like start a business but one thing with me like i have a lot of ideas because i have a lot of talents i have a lot of hats that um and my depression gets in the way of that but this is something that i really kind of always wanted to do and though my following isn't the biggest but i do think that being a fire rich auntie is a lifestyle and i think that a lot of people could relate to it so i am coming out with merch that will be dropping really really soon um i don't know if it'll be sooner than before you see this video i can try for that but i ain't making no promises um definitely in like july though by july if not july 1st definitely sometime in july um because honestly i have nothing really holding me back um but yeah so stay tuned for that um hopefully you guys support and speaking of that if you did watch our podcast our first one was called unemployed and shacking up um which is um very transparent and 
that's what we wanted we wanted our podcast to be you know real and relatable but however i am no longer unemployed so i did get a new job i started um in a couple of days and i wasn't ever worried about you know not having a job or whatever like honestly god has been so great and he always provides and there's never been a time where i've needed something and god didn't provide it so i wasn't you know worried about not finding a job um now the job is something not yeah it is different it's something i've never done before but i'm excited about it because it gives me the freedom and the leeway to do what i want to do because ultimately the goal is to become a full-time influencer youtuber content creator or whatever or like work from home or make residual income in my sleep and this job would allow me to do that and if anything it might actually help me to accomplish that so stay tuned for more like you know y'all are just gonna be getting like a lot of videos a lot more videos and content related to you know like hair and stuff and i'm just super excited for that so yeah um i'm trying to see what else did i forget so yeah i went over dating i went over my job went over my podcast went over my business um let's talk what i want or see for myself what i see for myself in year 28 so um honestly what i've been focusing on is setting boundaries i have a real problem with that like i don't know how to say no and it got to the point where i was really really burnt out and so i when i what happened is i got so burnt out that i started um i don't want to say flaking on people but when you're always available and then you get burnt out to the point where you literally can't like attend things you can't you know communicate with people like hey i, I just need a moment or hey i'm not okay like when you get to that point people see it as like flaking or me acting funny and it's really um or even just matching energy i've been working on that too but i've been learning to like kind of just not take things personal and understand that everybody goes through things but after a while you kind of just you know people do People make time for what they want to make time for, period. That's really what I'm trying to say. And I've just been recognizing that a lot lately. So I've been setting boundaries and trying not to feel guilty about it. And I've been I've been choosing myself and being more selfish and trying not to feel guilty about it. And I'm proud of me. And that's something that took me literally 28 years to learn how to do. And you know better late than never that's how i feel so yeah i have been setting boundaries i've been telling people no i have been focusing on me my bag and my peace um because for a long time y'all i couldn't sleep y'all my anxiety is so bad to the point where i have memory loss now that's another thing i don't know i'm i know that memory loss is a sign of or side effect from anxiety but when i tell you guys i didn't know mine was that bad it's to the point where you can tell me something like literally five minutes ago and i already forgot um so that's something that i'm dealing with like it's not old age i mean it might be but i'm pretty sure it's not um but i literally have not been remembering anything and i think it also stems from like childhood i used to do that like i used to mentally just block things out of my mind but like i'd be forgetting the wrong stuff like if i can do that with like the trauma that i endured with like the last year or so that'd be great but i seem to still remember that shit but um like i said like literally stuff that you probably told me like five minutes ago i've already forgotten so that's something <laughs> that i'm going through at my big age of 28 now it's just really really bad memory loss <laughs> but i know that you know good i let people know that ahead of time so they don't get mad at me um and my friends know like i don't mean it you know i don't mean to i don't want them to think that i'm not paying attention or you know i'm not listening to them i just genuinely like 
I've just had the worst memory ever. It's almost like pregnancy brain, but I'm not pregnant, y'all. I promise. I'm definitely not. Um, but yeah, my my memory has been shot. But yeah, other than that, like things have been great. Um, now, granted, like I said, it's only been two weeks. <laughs> the retrograde was actually really nice to me. Um, I didn't cry as much as I normally do. Um, and yeah. Uh, as far as my channel and where I see it going in 28, honestly, I want to, I don't want to aim low, but I want to be realistic and I would love if I were to hit 10K by, by the end of the year. Like in the next six months, I want to hit 10K on YouTube. I think it's doable. I'm really, really close to, um... 5k see my memory bad i'm really really close to 5k so i feel like it could be done i just need 5 more k but it took me a long time to get to this point but i feel like you know it's gonna be that one video it's just gonna go off and you guys are gonna find me just because if it ain't gonna be on here it's gonna be on tiktok because tiktok is so it's so easy to grow on tiktok y'all like if you're watching this and you don't have a TikTok, get you a TikTok. Especially if you want to be a content creator. I know so many people who don't have any followers on YouTube, Instagram, but they got almost a million on TikTok. Like, TikTok is where it's at. I think um, a lot of people, especially these kids and these young people, they don't have the attention span for YouTube anymore. They just really don't. And... I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it's like, it's a lot of people who aren't just going to sit and watch a 20, 30 minute hour long video no more. Like, so you got to give it the time, give it the content and make you a TikTok or at least do like shorts or, you know, on YouTube or do reels on, um, on Instagram. Cause y'all ain't nobody... Ain't nobody really on YouTube like that no more. I mean, like, old people like us. Not, like, okay, I'm, we're not old. I'm still in my 20s. But, like, older people, like, generation, like, the millennials, you know, we're still on YouTube. But, like, them new kids, they, like, literally, like, they, they on TikTok, bro. So, you can follow me on there. At, um, that's underscore Keandra. And I'm trying to see, think of what else. Mm -hmm. What else do I need to tell y'all? I feel like I'm missing something. I know I should have wrote it down. I should have wrote it down, but I'm hard headed. I don't write down nothing, but you know what? I probably meant to write it down and just forgot because <laughs> my memory is shot. Um, but we move and yeah, so I'm trying to think. I really wish I had like some more color in my face. Like, but then again, it could just be the camera. The camera makes me look like super white. I love my melanin skin. Y'all, I keep getting like, I don't know if it's the same person or not, but I've gotten um, compliments on my nose, like literally like twice. And it's so funny because I literally always wanted a nose job. I always said when I grew up, I was going to get a nose job. And, um, oh, real quick. Let me take out these lashes and show you how many comes with it. So you get, oh, Lord, I don't even know how to do this. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That can't be 13. 3, 5, 8, 12 14 that's what it was i was like it can't be 14 because one eye ain't gonna have none this is what they look like y'all nice and fluffy i'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on them so they can get tacky while i keep talking i'm just in a really good mood y'all i started door dashing y'all probably saw that video already that is the most liberating thing y'all if y'all ever only thing is okay let me tell y'all well i might make a dude a uh like a DoorDash tip video or do's and don'ts of door dashing because I might just do that. But honestly, if you just really need some money, 
and you want to make it quick download doordash bro that's honestly the best decision i did i've decided or i've ever done only because um if you're like me and don't like being told what to do and like just doing stuff on your own terms or whenever you want to sleeping late you know whatever y'all take advantage while we can take advantage of the doordash the instacarts the um oh this is gonna be so hard because i got these fake lashes I mean, these lash extensions. Child, is this gonna work? It's gonna have to. I gotta do this video. Sponsor content. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna be all right. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be all right. Anyway, um, take advantage of these Uber Eats, all of these stuff while while we can because honestly not having a boss somebody watching you hovering over you co-workers you don't like like just literally just being in your car zoning out a lot of the orders like don't even require human interaction a lot of the people who get doordash they don't want to talk to you either they literally be like leave it on the porch <laughs> like that be the that's the best type of job for someone who don't like human interaction or just you know antisocial and honestly I've been having a blast I've been having a blast um but now I do have a job but of course I'm gonna still do that on the side and honestly with that money I'm about to start traveling again because I just had so much fun in Miami let me know down below if y'all do any solo trips. I don't see myself doing a solo trip because I'm very small and I'm really scared of getting kidnapped and sex trafficked. But if you've done it before and you're like around my size or whatever, definitely comment down below some safe like um, solo trip places to go. It don't gotta be like out of the country or even out of the state, honestly. It could be something real nice and cute and, you know, and cheap, of course. Um, and then I'm gonna go and make that money doing DoorDash and then uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tell y'all about it but um yes yeah, so I'm gonna wait for those to get tacky um next I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips so love this combo I use max chestnut and y'all I hope y'all been looking at my hair I forgot I still gotta do my hair too and then I want to take this uh, this e.l.f. lip lacquer in the color Mauve Glitz. It's supposed to be like the the Fenty gloss dupe, like the gloss bomb dupe. It's alright. I mean, I kind of yeah, I do kind of like it. And then I'm gonna take this pink um, vanilla cream pie by N Y X. And then I'm gonna take, <laughs> it's a lot. I'm gonna take my um, Beauty Spa Store lip gloss. I always get like the red tint. Ooh, and that, that tell me that don't, tell me that don't look luscious and kissable. Amazing. That's my favorite lip combo. Don't say I never told y'all nothing. See, I really don't need to put on these lashes, but I got to for the video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my elastic band off. Oh Lord, is it stuck? Ow, y'all, why does elastic band stuck? Okay, but it's melted though, period. Okay, I'm gonna take some Chi serum, just a, a little bit and put it, I washed this wig last night and then I let it air dry. I always like to air dry my wigs. I just feel like they, um, I don't know, I feel like they're more flowier when I air dry them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put makeup on my lace. Don't clock me. I know my edges are sticking out too. Give me a second. But, um, I'll go ahead and try to get this flat as possible. Lower. Hopefully I can fix this lace child. I need to fix these edges too. 
Okay. Because I love me a good burgundy wig. Okay. Like, burgundy is my color. It's any chocolate girl's co color, really. And honestly, chocolate girls can wear any color. So, there. That's just how it feels. What is this? Okay, perfect. Perfect for my part. Look at going. Okay. I'm going to take my black gradients. All right, y'all. Don't get mad at me, but my camera cut off. So, all I did was do my baby hairs. I just used some even edge control. I'm going to apply these lashes before the, the glue gets too tacky and they don't stick. <laughs> um... Ooh, these are fluffy. And honestly, a part of me really hates that I have on um, lash extensions and they would have been the perfect amount of fluff. Not that anything is wrong with them. They look fine, but I like a more like natural wispy fluff. But hey, we move. These would be really cute to also probably do like some DIY lash extensions with. Okay. Oh wow, I got glue on my eyebrow. But it's okay, it comes off. And yes, I use hair glue and no, I'm not gonna stop because nothing else works better than hair glue. And who gon' whoop me? Nobody. Cause I'm grown. I'm 28. Okay. Cool. So, this is what they look like. Let me get this off. I need to let it dry. I should let it dry. But I'm, un I'm impatient. Okay. Cool. Okay, so... Here we go, this is what they look like. Okay, now I gotta finish my hair. So, like I said, I just did the top. And, where is my comb? I'm gonna take my rat tail comb. This hair is, I don't even remember the name, but I've literally already reviewed it. So if you are interested, go look at my channel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, well I know, I don't know, but I don't remember. Um, and then this actually, this wig was a 613 wig that I did the watercolor method and got it to be burgundy. So yeah. It's a, definitely a vibe. I'm using my Chi iron, Chi flat iron. Okay. That is that side. Oh, this, look, long burgundy hair looks so good on me. Like, God, why did you, why did you make me this beautiful? Honestly, I've been, I've been through a lot. And I went through an ugly ass phase. You know how most people have their ugly phases? Like, as a kid, y'all, my ugly phase was in high school. I literally did not bloom until college. I kid you not. So, I deserve this. <laughs> I deserve these. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, super cute. I low key want to, um, I low key want to trim the ends, but not today. Not today. Alrighty hey guys, so this is the final look for my date tonight. I want to thank a bag for sponsoring this video And I want to thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing to me Don't forget to like comment and thumbs up this video. Like I guess it is like Don't forget to like comment and subscribe duh and until next time. Bye guys